Hey everyone, my name is Anders and today we're going to talk a little bit about changing your font style and potentially italicizing your font in Google Chrome. Now I've just opened Google Chrome, I have a new tab open here and I'm going to go up to our wrench icon in the top right hand corner, click on that and then we're going to go to our settings dialog which is going to open up a new website called settings within your Chrome browser in your current tab. Now we're just going to uh, scroll down here and we're going to click on advanced settings. That's going to give us the ability to look at all the settings that Google Chrome has including our font settings. Now under the web content heading we can choose what font size we have from very small to very large. We can choose how much our page is zoomed by default. And we also have the option of using the tab button on our keyboard to move between form fields, buttons, and links on a web page. Now today we're going to focus on customizing our fonts, which is to the right of our font size. So we're going to click on that. And it brings up a box that is called fonts and encoding. From here we actually can change our standard font to anything that, any font that's installed on this computer. From here, we can change whatever font we currently have selected to any of the fonts installed in this computer. So right now we're on Times, and I can choose Times New Roman, and you actually can change the settings that you're trying out as the default font of Google Chrome on the right side here. So we can try Trajan, and you can see the difference. You can choose how large or small that's going to be. And so then any website you go to, unless that website specifically says or tells Google Chrome that it wants a specific font, you will see Trajan Pro and this size that we've chosen as the default font for that website you're browsing. Now I'm going to change this back to Times and make it a little bit smaller like it was before. Now when a website calls for a general serif font, you can also choose what specific font it's going to use there. If it asks for a sans serif font, you can choose what font you're going to use in that case. Your fixed width font, in the case of browsing a website which may be compatible with different resolutions of screen, with versions of a website that is mobile, and etc. And you can choose from one of those fonts. And you can always choose what your minimum font size is going to be. If it's more difficult to see uh, websites in general, you may want to increase this so you always can read your website without having to zoom automatically. And then finally, there is your encoding of the website. I recommend that you don't touch this, just leave it at Unicode. So we click OK to save our settings, and whatever settings you changed should be immediately reflected in Google Chrome wherever you're surfing the web. My name's Anders, and today we talked about changing our font settings in Google Chrome.